Hi, welcome to Star Design channel. Today I'll share with you technique to create cartoon filter in Photoshop. After opening your photo, use lasso tool to make the selection of his head. We'll make the head a little bit bigger than the body. Press Shift F6 to add one pixel of feather radius to it. Now take the selection to new layer with Ctrl or Command J. Ctrl T to open the transform tool and make his head bigger just like this. Open Liquify with shortcut Ctrl Shift X for Window or Command Shift X for Mac. We'll use forward warp tool to pinch his neck just to match with the body. Use bracket to increase or decrease brush size. Hit OK. Adjust the opacity to 50% so we can see the below layer. Zoom in. Use eraser tool to remove both sides of the neck. Make sure opacity just around 50%. Fade a little bit in the middle. There you go. Ctrl T to rotate it to the left. Remove the red of his beard that is still left on the neck. Zoom out to have an overview before moving to the next step. It's good. Now we are going to make some adjustments to the facial expression. Ctrl Shift X to open the file again. Pick a face tool. Now you can freely change the shape of eyes, nose, mouth, or face. For the eyes, if you want to make the changes for both eyes at a time, check the change icons over here to link the amount of the left and the right eyes when you set. Now let's make his eye, nose, and mouth bigger and wider. OK. If you want to double this effect, go to Filter, choose Liquid File. This before and this after. Select both layers and merge into one with shortcut Ctrl or Command E. Next, we are going to cut the subject out of the background. Head to Select, Subject. Since the background is pool white, so Photoshop AI easily makes the selection quite accurate. Just take quick selection tool to add a bit of his shirt to soften the selection. Press Shift F6 and add one pixel of feather radius. Ctrl or Command J to take it to new layer. Next. Convert the subject layer into small objects so we can modify non-destructively. Duplicate it twice by pressing Ctrl or Command J two times. To rename these copy layers to layer 2 and layer 3 so that we can easily to manage. Turn off layer 2 and 3 in layer 1. Go to Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. Set values at below. Amount 200%. Radius 1.5 pixels. Reduce noise 10%. Lens blur in remove blocks. Confirm. Then filter stylizers. Oil paint. Stylization 5. Cleanliness 3. Scale 0.1. OK. Add filter to it. Filter, filter gallery. Select parts the edges in artistic folder. Leave edge thickness and intensity at 0 and posterization at 2. Go to Filter, Blur, Surface Blur. Radius 15 pixel and threshold 7 level. Add another oil paint effect to it. Filter Stylize Oil Paint. Leave the amount at its ease and confirm. Filter, sharpen, unsharp mask, amount 50% and radius 1 pixel. In case you want to change some specific values, just double click to its effect and change the amount as you see fit. 
Now turn back on layer 2. We add another post edges filter to this layer. This time following these values. Edge thickness 4, X intensity 4, posterization 6. OK. Filter, stylize, oil pen. Stylization 10, cleanliness 3, scale 0.1. OK. Change its blend mode to overlay and opacity to around 30%. Press Ctrl J to duplicate layer 2. In layer 2 copy, double click to filter gallery to change the amount. Set edge thickness at 6 and edge intensity at 7. OK. Change overlay to pin light in blend mode. Adjust opacity to 80%. Finally, turn on layer 3, go to filter. Order, high pass. 2 pixels. OK. Change blend mode to overlay. Increase color intensity with vibrance adjustment layer. Set vibrance at 46. Open levels adjustment layer. Increase black areas to 8. Alright, that's all for the tutorial. Hit like and leave comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.